Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQA tech tip on environmental cleanup of Ebola virus. Members of the Indoor Air Quality Association have been contacted in recent weeks regarding cleaning up possible Ebola virus contamination. In this tech tip video, I'd like to highlight a few resources for those called upon to do cleanup work. First and foremost, you want workers to be protected. Recent examples among healthcare workers show that just having the right personal protective equipment is not enough. Workers need training and practice in its proper use. On October 20th, 2014, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, tightened its guidance for U.S. healthcare workers on personal protective equipment for Ebola. For example, the CDC recommends disinfecting personal protective equipment, such as gloves and respirators, prior to taking them off. A link to CDC's updated guidance can be found in the description section of this video. The CDC also provides guidance for cleaning and disinfecting surfaces with possible Ebola virus contamination. That publication is titled Interim Guidance for Environmental Infection Control in Hospitals for Ebola Virus. A link to that document is also found in the description section of this video. According to that document, surfaces should be cleaned prior to being disinfected. Cleaning procedures are described in the document, including the use of disposable cloths and wipes. Although there are no EPA-registered disinfectants to kill Ebola virus, disinfection is still important as the virus can persist for up to six days under ideal conditions. The CDC recommends using a hospital-grade disinfectant with an EPA-approved label claim for non-enveloped viruses such as norovirus, rotavirus, adenovirus, and poliovirus. Although Ebola itself is an enveloped virus, disinfectants for non-enveloped viruses have a higher potency and they should be used as an added level of precaution. Yet another document to reference is from the U.S. Occupational Safety and Health Administration, which has jurisdiction over all workers, not just those in healthcare. Their fact sheet is titled, Cleaning and Decontamination of Ebola on Surfaces. And that follows many of CDC's recommendations, including the use of a hospital-grade disinfectant, EPA-registered for non-enveloped viruses. Well, besides these guidance documents from U.S.-based agencies, let me finish the video by highlighting one from the World Health Organization titled, Interim Infection Prevention and Control Guidance for care of patients with suspected or confirmed filovirus hemorrhagic fever in healthcare settings with focus on Ebola. Now that document in particular warns against activities such as dry sweeping and fogging of chemicals. As with the other documents, a link to the World Health Organization reference is found in the description section of this video. The Indoor Air Quality Association is a multidisciplinary membership organization dedicated to diagnosing, resolving, and preventing contaminated indoor environments. Visit the IAQA website for more information on becoming a member.